What's up, guys? Um, it's gonna be another video talking about the <laughs> the recent topic: uh, high capacity gun magazines. I really, really hope they don't ban them. Um, I have a great example here of one of my favorite ones of all time, and I thought I'd show you to you. Um, it's Garden and Gun. Um, extremely, extremely high capacity. Doesn't look that that thick or anything, but holds lots of information. And not only is it about guns, but it's also about gardens. It's also about pretty much everything that's south. Places to eat, bars to go to, great different uh, you know mixed cocktails you can concoct. Um, they do nice stuff in here, custom knives. In fact, in this one, this is the latest one, uh, August September 2012, and there's a fantastic. Um, article in here about the uh, one of the most famous engravers and she does scroll work on like um, really really high-end over under shotguns and stuff like that and there's a really cool example of her work on a custom knife and I probably should have known what page it was on so I can get to it quickly I didn't so you gotta watch me fumble through for a minute sorry about that Come on, it's in here somewhere. Um, yeah, really, really cool stuff though. And if I can find it, I'll show you. Here we go. Um, yeah, she does uh, all kinds of engraving on all kinds of metal work. But you can see there, let me try to get this straight. I hate everything's backwards on a webcam. The picture in the middle of your screen is a nice custom knife and it's there's an engraving of a woman's head and she's like blowing a bunch of petals and there's gold uh, inlaying on the top there by the bolster and also by the butt ends. Beautiful, you know, high layer Damascus blade on there. It's just awesome work. On top here, you see her penciling out some scroll work on um, shotgun on the receiver. And she does jewelry and there she is working and some, you know, other jewelry on the bottom there, bracelet. But yeah, interesting article. Of course, you know, seeing a custom knife is always fun. But um, yeah, I mean, it's just everything south in here. Um, if you're if you like Southern Living, like that magazine as well, it's like that, but even better. Um, focuses only, only. <laughs> That's most only. If you don't know, it's a new word. Just made it up. Use it freely whenever you want. Um, yeah, they talk about art in here. Um, there, every single issue, there's something about. Um, hunting. So if you're a hunter, there's always an article in here about hunting. A lot of times it's like guys who, uh, you know, get their wives to start hunting or, you know, their girl, like pretty much involving women. But, you know, of course, there's also stories about guys, you know, their, their biggest game they ever caught, stuff like that. Um, really interesting. I saw an article in one of these about pipe smoking. It's one of my favorite magazines, Garden and Gun, and it's extremely high capacity. So I hope they don't get rid of it. Um, the first one I got has a great article about Morgan Freeman, who's my favorite, one of my favorite actors. I love Morgan Freeman doesn't make a bad movie. Doesn't, doesn't do a bad, you know, uh, voiceover, nothing. I love the guy. He's awesome. And turns out he's his roots are in the South. He's a, he's a Southern man. Um, I forget where it is. It's one of these issues. Anyway, just awesome, awesome stuff. Um, sometimes there's some good food recipes in here as well. But, uh, yeah, I forget which one it is. It's this one. All right, let me read you some of the, the you know, the cover uh, articles here. Best Southern Bars, um, Trailblazing Garden Design, Drink Recipes, uh, The Ultimate Cabin in the Woods, Big Time in Houston, Houston, Texas. Oh, here, Morgan Freeman's Mississippi Hideout. There we go. He's a Mississippi man. I was going to say Mississippi Queen, but I don't think Morgan Freeman's a Mississippi Queen. Um, here, check these out. Some uh, custom oyster knives. Might not want to use it for EDC, but of course, if you're a seafood fan, you'd be rolling in style to be shucking your oysters with one of them babies. The Charleston Angler. I just, I love it. It's one of my favorite publications in general because of variety. I get knives, I get guns, I get my garden stuff. I get, I'm, I'm very uh, infatuated with the South. I love to travel to the South in the future. Here's a fantastic looking recipe for jalapeno cheddar um, cornbread. Right out of a skillet, just looks awesome. An article here about the Appalachian Mountains and the people who live in Appalachia. 
Uh, another garden thing. Where's Morgan Freeman? Come on, Morgie. Talk about a lot of booze. If you're uh, into your fine alcohol and spirits, there's always an article in here about something like that. Do, 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 do. I don't know what's in here. Somewhere. Oh, a delicious looking pulled pork sandwich. It's making me hungry. There he is. There's the old southerner. Um, just really cool stuff. Really, really like this. Um, yeah, it, this by far, hands down, my favorite high capacity gun magazine. So I hope you guys don't get rid of these things because I really, really enjoy them. You know, it's my right to have these. I, I can go with a simple gun magazine. I can go with something small. You know, what's the new gun? How many rounds does it hold? Yeah, that's low capacity. It's kind of boring. You know. Why, why read something like that when you have something like this and just blow your mind? Um, so obviously, somewhat of a joke. Wah, 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 if you didn't think it was funny. Um, but in all seriousness, a total shout out for Garden and Gun Magazine because it really is my favorite publication, period. So if you never heard before, check them out. Um, let's see what a subscription costs because I don't remember offhand. This is actually a birthday gift. So I got a, the uh, subscription for free for a year. Um, there's no, even better, there's none of those stupid advertisements in the middle for subscriptions. I don't remember what it is. Um, I did look it up after I got it because I want to, oh, here we go. Here's one. I lied. There are those things in the middle. I'm so unprepared. Okay. Uh, one year, six issues for 1997. How can you beat that? Good stuff. So check it out. If you're into southern stuff, or if you're into guns and knives, of course, um, it's worth looking. It's worth looking at. I like it. So, anyway, that's all. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I don't know how many times I can say that in one day because I keep pumping out videos, but please do. I'll see you later. Take care.